right, let's go for a few more reps. How those adductors feeling, Vishal? Good. What about you, Pratiksha? All right, now that's a good movement to warm up before today's full body workout. That's correct. Welcome to today's strength and conditioning session with me, Sandeep, and I got some two new amazing athletes with us. That's Pratiksha, who will be doing all the scaled up variations of the movements for you today. And that's Rishav, who will be doing all the scaled down variations. All right, understand your body so that you're prepared to do the workout with the best amount of energy you got in yourself and with a smile. All right, so before we start with the warm up, quickly grab a bottle of water for yourself. Keep a towel handy as well. And don't forget to switch on the energy meter because we know that you're going to get an amazing score after today's workout. All right, are you ready Pratiksha? What about you, Rishabh? All right, let's get on our mats and we are going to jump into today's warm up. All right. So, like always in the strength and conditioning session, we focus on doing a good amount of warm up followed by mobility, all right? Because we need our joints to open up properly before we start working out on our muscles, all right? Great. So, we got two rounds of warm up and we got four movements in each of them and we're going to do each movement for 30 seconds. Now, the first movement we're going to perform is called a kneeling adductor T-spine rotation. So, this movement is supposed to be done 30 seconds on each side. So, I'm going to give you a quick demo for this. Alright, so what you need to do, you're just going to get into a kneeling position and extend one leg out. Alright, keep the toes pointed up, heels down. Now, from this position, what happens? You're opening up our hip. Alright, along with that, you're getting good stretch on those adductors. Alright, now you're going to stay in this position, push your hips back, take one arm all the way in and then rotate. We're going to perform this movement for 30 seconds on each side. Got it, guys? All right, let's get ready into the kneeling position. One leg extended out. We are going to start this movement for 30 seconds in three, two, and one. Let's go. All right. Now, you are in this position. Remember, for this movement, there is no scaled up or scaled down. All right. Just understand how deep you can take that arm in to get a good rotation on that thoracic spine, your middle back. And every time you're going in, I want you to breathe in and you're rotating out, you're gonna breathe out, all right? Focus on that and go slow. This is the first round itself, okay? One more rep maybe and relax. Let's change to the other side. We're gonna start in three, two, one, let's go. Come on, 30 seconds on this side as well. So every time, another thing, another point of performance I want to tell you about. Every time you're going in, push that hip in, all right? You get a good range of motion whenever you're driving with your hips. Always remember that, okay? And since you are taking the support of your knee, that one knee, make sure you keep it on the mat or else the bones might hurt a bit, all right? You need that small amount of cushioning there, okay? Come on. Last five, four, three, two, one, relax. All right. Now we're going to perform some glute bridges to warm up those butt muscles and your entire midsection. Okay, so pretty simple movement. What we're going to do, we're going to get down on our butt. All right, keep those heels exactly under the knee. Rest your spine, head and shoulders on the floor. Hands resting as well on the side. Just going to focus on pushing your hips up, squeezing those glutes and then coming back down. We repeat this for 30 seconds. Okay, let's get into position team. We are going to start with this movement on the count of three, two, one, let's go. Now, with this movement, you can observe how Pratiksha is performing. Her knees, hip and the shoulders are in one line when she's performing the bridge position. And she's going a bit faster because she's doing the scaled up here. Similarly, Rishabh is showing how to do this, do this movement if you are performing this exercise for the first time. Slow and steady. Focus on engaging those muscles well. All right, come on. Last three, two, one. Let's relax. Okay, from there, we're going to lie back down. Let's not stand up. We're going to perform half wipers to get a good warm up for the lower back and along with that, your obliques. Okay, so because I asked you to uh, like stay down itself, what are you going to do? You're just going to lie back down again. Keep your spine rested on the floor, arms extended parallel to your shoulders. Keep the knees at a 90 degree angle from the hip and just rotate from one side to the other side. 
all right you will feel that amazing stretch on the lower back you need this okay let's get into position we're going to start this movement in three two and one let's go perfect all right now this movement is really good all right i know you're already feeling it on your spine right maybe a bit of crack cracking noise in fact all right that's okay that's normal because that stiffness is getting released from that spine okay come on let's go for just maybe 10 more seconds okay come on good job all right if you feel like you need to work on your breathing here yes you're right all right i'll tell you in the second round and we are done with this relax okay now back on your feet team and back on your feet you we are going to move into the fourth movement that's the kang squat now this is a brilliant and very dynamic movement okay so what we're going to do we're going to start with the feet comfortably apart maybe a shoulder width stance push those uh, like toes out right so the knees are going to follow them you're going to keep your hands interlocked behind your head pushing those elbows out as well you're going to perform a good morning keeping those knees soft spine straight bend forward then you get into a squat position all right you can see as i pushed my knees out i'm getting more space for my hips remember that and from there you're going to come back in the reverse direction all right go slow doesn't matter how many reps you can perform okay let's give them a side view all right perfect all right we're going to start this movement in 3 2 and 1 let's go all right okay you can observe the form which pratiksha and rishav was showing you can see the spine remaining completely neutral when they performing the good morning so the engagement stays on your gluteals those hamstrings those calves yes your posterior chain muscles and that's why this movement is very beautiful to be performed on a daily basis as well okay come on last four three two and one relax perfect all right that was the first round i think we are feeling like our muscles opening up a bit joints as well perfect now let's hit it a bit with a bit more of pace so let's get into kneeling position one leg extended laterally we're going to go for the adductor stretch with a t spine rotation in 3 2 and 1 let's go 30 seconds come on all right now this round you have to focus on trying to push yourself a bit more all right because this is the last round of the warm up i want you to start sweating a bit and you're feeling more comfortable to move your body especially a good rotational movement all right keep going for 10 more seconds now good work on your breathing as well like i told you in the previous round breathe in breathe out okay come on last three two one relax change to the other side in three two and one let's go good work there all right focus on your breathing that is most important if you want your joints to open up well and you want that blood flow to go well along with good amount of oxygen in that blood okay so work on that breathing come on we have just over 10 more seconds remaining all right make the most out of it grab as many reps as you can from there in and pull it all the way out okay last three two one and relax perfect all right catch your breath if you feeling like a bit exhausted that is very very important all right from there let's lie back down heels and knees in one line let's work on those glute bridges okay in 3 2 1 let's go good work there all right now this movement why we all love to do before we work on our posterior chain or we work on our uh, what you call your legs as well your core as well because without any weight you're getting an amazing contraction on those glutes now these muscles are big okay the more we warm it up the better we move especially your lateral movements and your forward and backward movements as well all right now let's relax from here okay we are going to move to the half vipers so you're going to extend those arms out and we are going to start now 30 seconds all right now in the previous round i told you about the breathing pattern here okay so what i generally perform whenever i'm bringing my knees down to one side i breathe in i'm coming back to the setup position i breathe out right and that is really good because whenever what i'm doing extending i'm breathing in bringing back to the setup position i'm breathing out as simple as it sounds because that is what we use the breathing pattern in fact for any kind of breathing. all right come on last one on the other side and we are done here relax perfect moving to the last movement for this warm up to get done with kang squat in 3 2 and 1 let's go come on good work there 
right if you feel that whenever you are going down from here you're not able to look up don't worry adjust your stance a bit more go slightly wider give your body a bit more of space and you can see how i'm pushing my knees out right i want you to push those knees out so that you can sit down with your hips more okay then back to the good morning and stand up tall okay come on last 5 seconds 4 3 2 and 1 relax all right so pratiksha how was the warm up perfect that's what i wanted what about you rishab all good are you feeling like you know kick this workout perfect all right okay now we're done with the warm up we are going to move into the main workout and in the main workout we got some good interval training to keep our heart rate up burn a lot of calories and build some good amount of strength okay so we will be doing four rounds of this workout which is 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of break okay so i'm going to demonstrate for you the first movement right now and when we are taking the 20 seconds of break i'll take you through the second movement okay and we're going to continue that all right great so the first movement here is a knee down wide hand push up now this is going to target our chest those pec muscles and along with that good amount of stress on the shoulders and your triceps keeping your core engaged at all time all right there is no scaled up or scaled down for this all right if you are feeling like you want to scale it down just take a few seconds break in between that's okay all right so for the wide hand push up what you need to do if you have a mat in front of you i want you to keep your palms all right outside of the mat that is a wide hand position now from there you're going to keep your knees down so that your head shoulders hips and knees are in one line so don't do this push your knees back okay now from there chest will drop close to the floor all right but don't don't lie down okay keep it as close to the floor as you can and push yourself up and on the top position you're going to feel a good amount of contraction on the chest ready let's take position come on knee down wide hand push ups on the count of 3 2 One, let's go for the next forty seconds. All right. Why we do this with a, a knee down position? I'll tell you. All right, because wide hand push up is difficult to stabilize your body with. All right, that's why we want to keep it knee down so that you can focus and isolate the pecs. All right, the chest muscles, and that way you're focusing more on the upper body rather than focusing on controlling the movement by going slow. All right. we have just a few seconds over 10 more seconds okay come on great form there rishab amazing form there pratiksha come on last 5 seconds we are almost there 3 2 and 1 relax good if you're feeling any kind of stress just loosen up your muscles that's okay this is the first round don't want you to feel stiff or your muscles getting exhausted already okay so just loosen up a bit now coming to the second movement while we take this break reverse lunge to a kick all right now this is another good dynamic movement which targets your full body so what i want to do you're going to come to the middle of the mat you're going to perform a reverse lunge so if i'm lunging back with my right leg i'm going to come forward and kick with my right leg itself okay now this movement what we're going to do we're going to keep on alternating legs okay so if you're taking the right leg back kick with the right leg then left leg back kick with the left leg got it All right. Let's begin this movement in 3, 2, and 1. Let's go. Perfect. All right. Now this movement again like I told you works in your full body, a lot of stress on the glutes and because we're kicking it out, you're working on your hip flexors, your core is fully engaged, your hamstrings when you're doing the lunges, your quadriceps when you're doing the lunges and the entire time the faster you move, the more calories you burn. But focus on stabilizing yourself because every time you're coming up remember you are balancing yourself on that one leg all right so the more impact the more balance you have the more stability you're going to learn as well okay five more seconds on this come on let's keep alternating 3 2 1 let's relax good all right third movement coming to beast hold shoulder taps another full body movement okay so what are you going to do in a beast hold position So it's like a quadruped position where your palms are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips. All right, you're gonna put pressure on your palms, lock your elbows here. You're gonna keep your knees off the floor by an inch or two at max, and without letting your hips twist too much, you're gonna control slow. Tap and tap. All right, tap your alternate shoulders. Just go slow. Okay. 
Let's get into position two. Come on. We're gonna start this movement in three, two, and one. Let's go. Come on. All right. Now, if you're feeling like you've been following Risha, but then still it's difficult for you, no problem. You can rest your knees down for a few seconds and get back to it. All right. And if you're following Pratiksha, let's try not to rest those knees down. Okay. But Pratiksha, let's bring the knees down slightly more. Perfect. All right. So the closer you keep the knees down, what are you going to feel? The gravity is trying to pull you down. You are working against the resistance. We are working on the core, the quads, your shoulders mostly, but along with that, we're working on stability. All right. So in this particular movement, slow and steady, win studies. And we are done. Relax. Good. Quick 20 seconds of breather before we target that lower body with one and a half squats. All right. So while my team is also taking a short break to recover from the previous few movements, I'm going to take you through this. We're going to start again, feet comfortably apart, like a shoulder width stance. Push those toes out so that the knees follow them. You're going to perform an air squat, all right, or body width squat, all right. Then come halfway up, go all the way down again, and then stand up top, all right. Now, if you're following Rishabh and scaling it down, avoid the half squat. What you can do, just perform the air squat and control the range of motion. That means you don't have to go through deep down. Okay, ready Risha? All right, ready Pratiksha? Perfect, we're starting in three, two, and one. Let's go. Good work, good work. All right, the most important movement which I feel to perform or to learn is a squat, all right? Because your lower body, those are the legs, you're using them throughout the day. Whether you're walking, you're sitting as well, you need them to have good amount of strength. Those muscles need to be engaged. So you need to stretch, correct? All right. So if you're stretching the muscles, you need to work on them as well. All right. So building strength, building flexibility, both are equally important. Okay. Come on. You just have five more seconds on the clock. Let's go for one more rep team. Three, two, and one. Relax. Perfect. All right. Absolutely sync. In sync with the time as well. Okay. Now, Time for the fifth movement, cross climbers. Okay, a great amount of tension on that midsection, a lot on the abs and the obliques here. Okay, so for cross climbers, you're gonna get back into a high plank position. If you don't know the high plank position, I'll tell you know what to do. You're gonna keep your palms under the shoulders, head till heels in one straight line, like an incline. What you're gonna do, you're gonna bring the left knee to your right elbow. So there's a bit of twist over here. Then back, right knee goes to the left elbow and twist. All right. Now, if you have been uh, doing this movement for a while, I want you to pick up the pace, all right? But make sure you're not doing this, all right? Don't push your hips up. Control the move. Got it? Let's take position T. Come on. In three, two, and one. Let's go. Next 40 seconds. Amazing form over there. You can see the pace is the only difference here between a scale down and a scaled up, all right? So over here, Rishabh is showing us how to control the movement, learn it, all right? That good twist is gonna work on those sides, those oblique muscles a lot. Similarly, because Pratiksha is showing us the scaled up variation, she's pushing herself, but remember, the pace she's maintaining is the same as the first rep till the last. Now that is called advanced movement, okay? Come on, five more seconds on the clock. Work on it. A bit more of pace maybe. Three, two, one. Relax. All right. Good job. Okay. Now we're done with the first round. Let's loosen up a bit. Take a few deep breaths. Have a sip of water. Towel up that sweat if you need. Okay. Because we are all working out together. Now that was a good first round where you're feeling like you're warmed up a bit more. Now for the next three round, without any additional break, we are going to push it. All right. Are you ready, Pratiksha? What about you, Rishabh? Great, let's get into position for the wide hand push-ups. We are going to start in three, two, one. Let's hit it, come on. All right, now, if you're still following Risha for the scale down variation, continue with the pace he's maintaining. You can even count, uh, keep a count of the reps, all right? That's good, okay? So that you can uh, see whether in the first round, how many reps you have done till the fourth round as well. Okay, so that will give you a good challenge so that next week or the next time you're doing this workout, all right, you can see whether the strength has improved or not. Okay, that's always a good way to keep yourself in check. Okay, come on, 10 more seconds, team. Good work over there. Good work. Just breathe in on your way down, breathe out when you're pushing yourself up. For the last three, two, 
and one relax now quick 20 seconds break only we are not going to take any additional break now because the next movement we are going to go for is your reverse lunge with a kick all right good 10 more seconds so just shake it off a bit breathe all right whenever you're feeling exhausted just walk around the room now this is your comfort zone okay we are starting in 3 2 and 1 let's go lunge back and a kick okay work on that kick because you're learning your stability and it's an explosive movement as well the faster the harder the kick the more energy you are expending over there okay great job come on i'm going to join my team for a few reps as well all right lunge and kick lunge and kick look how high pratiksha is kicking all right come on i want you to match her pace i want you to match that height she is demonstrating for us and let's kill this movement come on we have less than 10 seconds now all right in fact five more seconds four three two and one relax all right loosen up your legs if you feeling any kind of stress and after this we are going to go for that stability test with beast hold and shoulder taps all right so don't go anywhere just breathe take a few deep breaths loosen up a bit and let's get into position for the beast hold okay we are going to start in 3 2 and 1 let's go for it come on great job slow remember this movement no need to tap 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 slow okay because you need to learn whether you are able to build that stability or not okay and similarly like i told you in the previous round feeling exhausted don't shy away from scaling it down further relax for a few seconds with the knees on the floor then get back into it okay 15 more seconds on the clock come on let's keep doing this all right now this movement might look very simple but the more you control the movement with your core strength the tougher it gets okay come on last three two and one relax perfect all right now coming to the fourth movement those squats uh pratiksha i feel this movement is like a recovery movement perfect all right because the other movements are definitely tough all right so the way these movements are designed or workout is designed to have always have one recovery movement okay so let's get into it feet shoulder width apart and let's go one half and then come back up all right one half and come back up you're building a lot of tension on those quads your glutes as well all right so always remember don't let the knees cave in okay if you're feeling that your knees are caving in with your hands push them out now relax all right good job there we're done with those 40 seconds let's loosen up a bit and shake off your legs now all right awesome okay i could see my team wanted to just keep going all right that's a good one all right because they are strong they are amazing athletes so are you and that is what we should do we enjoy certain movements and we want to just keep going all right that's amazing if you're feeling the same you are on the right track my friend in terms of your fitness level okay time for the last movement let's get into the high plank position for cross climbers in 3 2 1 let's go perfect all right look at that pace by pratiksha look at the control all right her head till her heels are in good straight line all right only time they're not in line is when the twist comes all right but hips are not going up and down similarly with rishab you can see all right head shoulders hips heels with the knee all are in one line all right the twist is working well but the hips are not going up and down all right that is control my friend and we need to learn that we need to stick to that control so don't worry about the pace worry about controlling the movement okay come on last three two one relax okay good we're done with the second round so we're halfway through with this first workout yes you heard me right this is the first workout we will always have a good finisher all right we have few more seconds so just breathe in breathe out a bit all right have a sip of water again again small small sips towel up that sweat because we are going to jump into the third round in 10 more seconds all right so shake off your legs loosen up your arms and get ready all right wide hand push ups coming up in 3 2 1 let's go for it come on those wide hand push ups with the knees on the floor focus on controlling the movement all right what you should not be doing in this movement push those elbows out elbows slightly pointed in okay so that you're not focusing on driving the movement through your elbows but you're targeting those muscles come on 
Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay? Last five. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax. Okay. So we're done with this movement. 20 seconds break now. Loosen up a bit because second movement, that those reverse lunges with a kick is coming up. Okay? In 10 more seconds. So just breathe in a bit more. Come on. I want you to give all that energy towards me. Okay, come on. In three, two, one. Let's go. Reverse lunge to the kick. All right. Perfect. All right. With this movement as well, if you're feeling like you want to scale it down a bit further, don't worry about the kick. What I want you to do, just continue with reverse lunges. Let's work on the basics a bit more. All right. The more we learn about the stability, the better we improve in terms of our fitness. All right. Good work there. Come on. We still have 15 more seconds on the clock. Lunge to a kick and lunge and come back to the setup position. Maybe on the scale down if you want to do it. Okay. Come on. Five more seconds on the clock. Four, three, two, and one. Relax. Perfect. Good. Loosen up a bit in these 20 seconds. All right. I want you to keep walking around the room. Don't sit down. All right. We are not done with the workout. This is only the third round. Okay, just a few more seconds. Then we're gonna move into the third movement, beast hold shoulder taps. Let's get into position team, come on. We're gonna start in three, two, and one. Let's go for it, all right? Come on, slowly tap, one shoulder, other shoulder, but control, okay? As you can see, I'm not doing this. Knees are not coming up, control the movement, okay? Come on. Okay, this movement is strong, all right? You need to be stronger than this. Come on, move, slowly tap, alternate shoulders. Don't let your hips twist. Control the movement, use that core strength for 10 more seconds, come on. Good, three, two, one, done. All right, loosen up a bit, okay? That was a good movement. Now the next one, one and a half squats. We're gonna do this movement together, but we still have 10 more seconds. So just a second, breathe. Breathe along with us. Loosen up your body a bit. All right, now get into position. We're starting in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Half and come back up. All right, one, half, come back up. We want to scale it down further, like I told you. Avoid the half, just go for one squat, come back up. Okay, now if you feel that even doing this movement with without the half squat as well, that is challenging for you, you want to learn how to do it better, best part, all right, scaling down even further. Why? Because you learn the movement in an easier way. Keep a chair, just think about it, keeping your feet shoulder width apart. You're going to sit on a chair, stand back, only using your thighs. Okay, come on, three, two, and one, relax. Okay. Good one. Last movement for this third round to get done. Okay? So stick with us. We feel how you're feeling right now, especially Pratiksha and Rishav. All right? Because they both have been working out with you. So let's give them a big smile back as well, like they have been smiling. Okay? Come on. Cross climbers, let's get into position. We're going to start with this in three, two, one, and hit it. Come on. 40 seconds on the clock. If you're scaling it up, Move, 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 come on. Work on your breathing. Just twist, you're gonna breathe out, okay? Come on. Good job, good job, we are halfway through. All right, come on. If you've been following Pratiksha, but still you feel like, are you feeling exhausted, right? No problem, take a second break. Not a problem at all. Or you can just drop the pace down like Rishab and follow him. Okay, come on, last five, four, three, two, one. Relax, good job. All right, now we're gonna head into the last round for this first workout. All right, now give whatever energy you have because we want to ensure that this was the most explosive round of them all. Okay, good work. White hand push up in 15 more seconds. So let's have a quick sip of water before we move into it. All right, ready team? What about you, Shav? Great, ready you? 
Wide hand push ups. Come on. In three, two, one. Let's go. All right. Push. Come on. Great work, Rishabh. The form is amazing. Chest dropping close to the floor, exactly between the two palms. Okay, come on. Good work, Pratiksha. Let's keep pushing. Come on, we are halfway through with this. Good work, good work. Just focus on your breathing. Don't give up. By now, your arms must be a bit sore or maybe a bit exhausted. Don't worry about that. Come on, let's grab two more reps. Last one. And done. Relax. All right, amazing job there. Loosen up your arms, loosen up your arms. All right. Now those wide hand push-ups can take a lot of toll on your upper body. But that's okay. That is supposed to happen. Okay? <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. We're going to start in five more seconds with this reverse lunge with kick. Ready team? Ready to shove? Great. Three, two, one. Let's go. Lunge, kick. Again, lunge, kick. Come on. Lunge and kick. Keep going. <sighs> good job, good job. Continue to look at the form, all right? Come on. Perfect. Make that kick as explosive as you can, as strong as you can, all right? Come on. Kick that door open. That should be your feeling, okay? Go for it. Go for it. 15 more seconds on the clock. Good job. Come on. Few more seconds. Come on. Don't give up. Last one. And done. Uh, now, Rishav, what about this movement? Do you have any uh, comments on this movement? Very tiring? Yes. And especially because in the last round, okay, so you're going to feel a bit exhausted. That's okay. All right? Now, be sold shoulder taps. The next stability test, okay? Let's get into position. We'll go for it in three, two, and one. Knees up. Let's go. Come on, Pratiksha, keep moving. Let's go, let's go. All right. It's good to have some fun when you're doing the workouts, all right? So don't punish yourself. Take a few seconds, knees down. Loosen up, back into it. Come on. That is how you're going to progress. Good work, good work. Come on. 15 more seconds. Good job. All right. Come on, keep that smile up. All right, you're going to feel the burn. That's okay. Last three, two, one. Relax. All right. One and a half squats coming up in 15 more seconds. All right. Loosen up your arms. Loosen up those legs because we can still hit those legs once more in this movement. Okay. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. 40 more seconds on this. Come on. One last time today. Work with us, come on. Work with the breathing as well. Good work. We're approaching the half time mark for this. Come on. 20 seconds up. Good work. All right. Last 10 seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Done. All right. What I could actually observe that Pratiksha, Rishabh, and myself, all three of us, along with you, we were in sync for the entire 40 seconds. Now, that is amazing. Okay? That is what we should do when we're performing as a team. All right? Now, time for the last movement to finish this first workout. So, back to the plank position, cross climbers. In three, two, and one. Let's go. Come on. Keep pushing. If you're scaling down, like I'm following along with Rishabh right now to scale it down a bit. All right. Catch my breath. Maybe in the last 20 seconds, we're going to go full on. What about that, Rishabh? All right. Perfect. Come on. And the last 20 seconds. Let's go, Rishabh. Come on. If you have been scaling it down, just push it. All right. Come on, let's move, move, move. 15 more seconds to go. Make the most out of it. Come on. 
Good work there. Don't let the hip go up. Three, two, one, and done. All right. Amazing job there. Great work, Rishabh. Great work, Pratiksha. All right. Great work, you as well. Time to take a quick break. All right. Just relax, recover a bit, because next one is a killer. That's a finisher workout. Okay. So in the finisher, we're gonna uh, hit. the hiit favorite workout which is tabata all right so 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of break okay and we're going to do this for one round that is 4 minutes okay we have two movements there we're going to keep on alternating let me just give you a quick demo for both the movements before we start all right first movement butterfly sit up now this is going to work in the mid section okay so simple butterfly sit ups Butt down, knees pushed out, feet facing towards each other. You're gonna go all the way down. Breathe in, sit up straight. Breathe out. Got it? Again, breathe in, breathe out. All right. First movement. Second movement. A bit more of explosive, 180 degree jumps. All right. Remember, we are not squatting down over here. Just gonna look on one side of the mat. All right. Dip up with your hip, then rotate. That's it. You're not squatting. Remember, you're just using the hip. Two, rotate. Got it? Let's get into the butterfly sit-up position. Come on, Tabata, round number one in three, two, one. Let's go for it. All right, come on, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, let's keep going. Good work there. Okay, come on, it's only twenty seconds, so I want you to get as many reps as you can. Good work. Last three, two. One, relax. All right, back on your feet. You have quick ten seconds of recovery break. All right, we're gonna start in three, two, one. Let's go. One eighty degree jumps. All right, rotate. Come on, keep going. Good work. Use your hands if you want. All right, and if you're scaling it down, follow what Rishabh is doing. He's taking his time before he goes for the hundred eighty degree jumps. Come on. Last three, two, one. Relax. Quick ten seconds break. So by that time, we're gonna get back into position because ten seconds get off very easily. All right. Three, two, and one. Go. Time to burn some extra calories. So let's move it. Let's push the pedal and burn those extra calories. Come on. Last five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Back on your feet. Whew. All right, your heart rate is up now. We feel you. Let's get into it. The 180 degree jumps. Now, come on. All right. Whew. Come on. Let's keep moving. Good work. Good work. If you feel a mat is moving, get off your mat. Right? Last one. Done. All right. Back into it. We are just halfway through. Two more minutes remaining. Butterfly sit ups. In three, two, and one. Go. Come on. Let's push it. Push it. No giving up now. How's it going, Rishabh? Good. Perfect. Let's keep that smile up. Come on. Five more seconds on the clock, and the last one. Relax now. All right, back on your feet. Good work, good work. Five more seconds before those 180 degree jumps. Ready, Pratiksha? Let's go. Three, two, one. Go for it. Good. Let's maintain the sync this time. Come on. Amazing. Good job. Come on. Few more seconds. Three, two, and one. Relax. All right. Let's get back into it. Last one minute remaining. Okay. Butterfly sit-ups one last time today. Now. We're gonna breathe in. Come on, breathe in. Whew, breathe out. Okay. When you're coming up, no rounding your back. Remember the name of the movement is sit-up. So you can sit up straight. Go for it. Last three, two, 
and one. All right. Good job. Back on your feet for the last 20 seconds. There's one 80 degree jumps. Sync with us. Come on. Three, two, one. Let's go. Go for it. Come on. All right. Good work. Come on. Just a few more seconds. Good work. Three, two, one more jump. One. Relax. All right. Now, if you were in sync with us throughout this finisher, do a pat on your back. All right. You did amazing. We did amazing. We had a lot of fun, right? What about you, Joe? Absolutely. All right. You could see the smile on the faces after the workout is done. All right. Now, all right. I'm going to take a few seconds to catch my breath. All right. Because talking, working out never go well together. All right. So just catch your breath. Let's all take a one minute break, maybe just to recover. Let that heart rate come down a bit. Because next, what is coming is definitely my personal favorite part of the workout cool down stretches. Okay. What about you, Pratiksha? Any tips you have? <laughs> Absolutely. Very well said. Cool down is very important. All right. And why do we do a warm up? To get that blood flow up, heart rate pushed up. Because we want to be ready to push ourselves, right? Similarly, doing a bit of cool down is important, right? Because we want to relax ourselves post a high intensity workout. Okay? Now, time for the stretches. We had a good time of break to recover from. First one, twisted cross for the pecs. We're gonna do this movement one side at a time and 40 seconds on each side. So what I want to do, you're gonna extend one arm out laterally and rotate your body out. You can keep your hands off the floor or on, depending on what works well for you. All right, ready? Let's get into position. Come on, three, two, one, and stretch. 40 seconds there. Just focus on your breathing. All right, take deep breaths. Perfect, you can rest your head on the floor if you can. Absolutely up to you, or you can keep it off the floor. Nothing is wrong with that, okay? Just Close your eyes, maybe uh, focus on what an amazing time you had, all right, and what great things you did for your body today, all right. An amazing full body workout, so you burned a lot of calories, build strength, build stability. Now, that is a full rounded, a wholesome workout done, okay. Come on, stay there for five more seconds. Good, good, four, three, two, and one. Let's change to the other side. In three, two, and one. 40 more seconds now. All right. I did all those wide hand push ups. You did uh, cross climbers, beast hold shoulder taps. Everywhere your arms were involved. Your pecs, those deltoids, all of them were involved. Now, this stretch is one of my favorite stretches to release the tension out of those areas. All right. Which I just mentioned your pecs, shoulders, and your that shoulder drop. Okay, Come on. 10 more seconds. Good. Just breathe. Come on, five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Relax. Good work there. Now, time for movement number two child's pose. So, stay on your knees. What are you going to do? You're going to sit back on your heels. Keep your arms extended forward. Don't soften your elbow. Just try to press your head down. Okay, you hold it here for 40 seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. Start. All right. Now, this movement is gonna stretch those lats. Good amount of deal on those deltoids as well. We're trying to press the head below the level of your arms. Okay, stay there, come on. Keep working on your breathing, deep breaths, come on. Good work, good work. 10 more seconds, come on. Stretch it out, stretch it out. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. In the child's pose, you were sitting down on your heels. Now I want you to sit down on your butt. Okay? So what we're gonna do is a seated forward hold to stretch those hamstrings. Okay? A very simple trick I've learned from one of my colleagues recently. All right? You're gonna first start keeping the knees soft, hold those toes, and then extend your legs. And you just hold it here for 40 seconds, okay? Come on, stay there. 
stretch those hamstrings, stretch those calf muscles. And if you can't, don't worry. You can uh, see those shoes, right? You can hold on to the pads of the shoes or your shin bone as well, as far as you can reach, okay? Come on. But feel the stretch on your hamstrings, keep those thigh muscles loose, all right? Come on. Good work there, 15 more seconds. Good. You can always try to extend the stretch, all right? You can see how beautifully Pratiksha is showing it for us, all right? Every time you exhale, try to press yourself down a bit, okay? Last three, two, one, relax, all right. Next one, a bit on the quad, so let's stay seated. This is called a half saddle stretch, all right? So what are you gonna do? You're gonna fold one leg behind, all right? Don't sit on your heels, keep the heels beside your thighs. And you can go back down on your elbows. Stay here to stretch those quads, okay? And start, 40 seconds, come on. Good work. Now, because Pratiksha has amazing flexibility, all right, she's able to lie all the way down. You can try this as well, all right? This is all an advanced variation of this stretching. Okay, similarly, if you can't stretch it out, stay on your elbows. It's equally good, all right? Understand what length, all right, what level you can push your body and slowly learn. That is how you come from this level to this, all right? Breathe in and breathe out for 10 more seconds. Come on. Good work, good work. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Change to the other leg. In three, two, one. Just lean back, relax. We have 40 more seconds on the block. All right? And just in case even coming down on your elbows is difficult for you, don't worry about that. All right? What you can do, just keep your arms extended and lean as far back as you can. All right? Be comfortable. Remember, this is a cool down, right? You don't want to feel stressed and exhausted doing a cool down. You want to just relax and loosen up your body. So stay in a position which works best for you. All right, come on, 15 more seconds. Deep breaths. Keep taking those deep breaths. Come on, we just have a few more seconds. Good work. Four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Now. Time to get back on your feet. Let's stretch those shoulders, 20 seconds on each arm. So what I want you to do, bring one arm up. You're gonna pull it down with the other arm towards you and hold for 20 seconds. Let's hold it, come on. Good work. All right, you're gonna feel that stretch. Side deltoids, the rear deltoids as well because we did a lot of upper body work as well. Remember those wide hand push-ups which I told you. Every time you do that push up, your like, you know, when you're going down, you're targeting those deltoids. You can feel it when you're pushing it yourself up and when you're going down, right? So stretching them is important. Now change to the other arm. Come on, 20 more seconds. Good work, all right? Deep breaths, release out the tension from that muscle, all right? This is the last one before we are done with the workout today, okay? Come on, deep breaths. Good work, last five, four, three, two, and one, relax, fantastic, okay? So we are done with the stretches, and now what we're gonna do, all right? A few quick tips, all right? So now, uh, Pratiksha, do you have any tips for us? Perfect, all right? Consistency is the key, all right? That is the best thing we can anytime learn doesn't matter age or whatever time of the day we are working on all right just be consistent anything else you want to add Rishabh? Yes, absolutely everyday workouts yes absolutely why not we keep moving ourselves throughout the day right be it doing some household shows or even just going out for a walk or run all right we always prefer that on our recovery days we go out for a brisk walk right that's always good perfect or do some good amount of recovery stretches that is gonna Ensure that you're being more and more consistent in not feeling exhausted with the workout. All right, now that was an amazing tip by my team. So we are done with today's workout. We're gonna bid you adieu till the next workout, but you know what's coming up next. And the last thing, the closing ritual. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do our lunch to a kick together. All right, and say we are cult as well. Okay, so let's lunge back with the right leg on the count of three, two, one. We are cult. For more such workout videos, download the Cultfit app now. Also, 
Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are Cult.